Before we begin, here's the essential kit that you'll need for this upgrade. First, the MSI Claw A8. This is the neon green edition. Next, your new SSD. I'm installing a 4TB Lexar NM790, which is a Gen 4 2280 drive. I've included some recommended drives in the description if you want to support the channel. You'll also need a 2mm Phillips screwdriver, a pair of gloves to keep things clean, and a plastic prying tool just so you don't damage your case when opening it up. There are two main approaches to upgrading the SSD. Option one, using a cloning tool like this. This transfers your entire system, Windows, games, applications, and the MSI recovery partition directly to your new drive. It's seamless, but these new tools can be expensive. Option two, create a Windows recovery USB. This is a much cheaper option and it works perfectly for a clean installation. You do need a USB-C that's 32 gig gigabytes minimum. The trade-off is that you'll lose your MSI recovery image, but both approaches work well and it simply depends on what you prefer. Before removing your original drive, it's worth understanding what partitions MSI has set up by default. So we're going to be searching disk management in Windows and you'll see the layout in your current SSD. The main partition holds Windows, your applications and your games. The second partition that's the most important is this hidden 25 gigabytes partition. This is the MSI recovery image containing their drivers and factory software. When you clone, both of these will transfer across. If you're doing a clean install with a USB, the recovery partition will be lost. Regardless, I recommend creating a recovery USB before proceeding. So let's search for create a recovery drive in Windows and follow the wizard to copy the recovery environment to the USB stick. This process can take a long time and that's completely normal. So grab a coffee and let it finish. At the end, Windows may ask if you want to delete the original partition. Trust me, leave it intact. It's always useful to have a backup and you may need it in the future. Next, check your device encryption settings. Go to the settings, then click on Pri Privacy and Security and search for Device Encryption or BitLocker. If the encryption is enabled, you have now a chance to disable it, which I recommend if you are doing the cloning approach. We can safely power down the device. Let's hold down the power button for, for 30 seconds. The power LED will blink a couple of times, confirming that the claw is completely discharged. This is the MSI safety feature, and it's good to do before we open up the case. Flip the device over and remove the six screws secure in the back cover. Keep them safe. Remember their positions. A couple of them are slightly different lengths. In most regions, MSI allows SSD upgrades without voiding the warranty, providing you don't damage the device during the process. Take your time and handle it carefully.
Using a plastic prying tool to gently work your way around the edges of the case. The clips are secure, so patience is key. Avoid metal tools, which can scratch or damage the shell. Just take your time. Once all the clips are released, the back panel just slides off smoothly, giving you full access to the beautiful internals. Now, before touching the SSD, let's disconnect the one battery cable that is slightly overarching the SSD. This ensures all the power is removed, allowing you to safely work on the SSD. Now remove the one screw holding the SSD down. The drive will gently lift up and you can just take it out. Insert the new SSD in the same slot at the same angle and secure it with the same screw. I recommend reusing the thermal insulation putty that has, uh, that has been provided by MSI and that will work perfectly. Now let's reconnect the battery cable, then carefully align the back panel and snap it into place. Reinstall the six screws, tightening them gently without over torquing. This completes the hardware portion of the upgrade. Reconnect the power adapter and press the power button. The system should boot normally. Because I've cloned the device, Windows 11 loads immediately and all applications and settings intact. If you use the recovery USB method, this is where you would reinstall Windows Fresh. You can access BIOS by holding both the right triggers down while powering on. The system will boot into the BIOS. From here you can check storage and confirm your new SSD has been detected. It's also, for, it's also useful to know how to get into BIOS if you want to play around with it. If you're using the USB-C recovery option, then with the device powered off, hold down the LB and RB buttons while powering on and you're going to a boot menu. From there, you can select the USB-C and start your recovery. Finally, here are the benchmark results. The Lexar NM7090, my read write speeds have nearly doubled compared to the stock. This does translate to a faster load time, which I notice both in Windows and installations. But the benefit for me was actually just having more space for games on the Claw A8. And in the future videos, you'll see me installing Bazite to get a Steam-like experience. If you find this guide helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. I'll be testing game performance on this upgraded setup very soon.